Deputies tell me the suspect's guilty conscience kicked in, and that's what ultimately led to his capture. Now he's facing more serious time and charges, all for a few hours of freedom. Standing in a secure area, 20-year-old Skyler Andrew Wells waves at the camera as he waits to be booked back into the Clark County Jail. Wells eluded deputies for nearly three hours Wednesday afternoon after he escaped from an inmate work release program at a Springfield recycling center. Deputies say Wells used some of these cardboard stacks to push himself over the fence. He then took off down the tracks. And that's kind of scary. Neighbors like Miranda Coe and Kevin Lauer watched as officials canvassed the community looking for clues to his whereabouts. They said, you know, kind of be on the lookout, keep your doors locked. At one point, deputies thought they had Wells trapped and surrounded a car on North Bechtel, but it turned out to be the wrong guy. Then a few hours later, a tip that took off when Wells' parents called in. They did receive a uh, call from their son who uh, stated that, uh, you know, he, he made a major mistake and uh, leaving the uh, facility. Uh, he knew that he was facing uh, serious charges. Officials talked to Wells, who eventually gave up his location in the 600 block of West Main Street. That's where he was taken into custody, and his illegal escape came to an abrupt end. And officials say that Wells has only been in jail since May after he pleaded guilty to domestic violence of a family member, underage drinking, and resisting arrest. He was scheduled to be released in November, a date that officials say will likely be pushed back. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.